Hey, Mom. Where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but Mom, don't we owe it to Grandpa to... Yeah, I know. It's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay. Okay. Whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah. Bye. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. All right. Let's do this. I should see if I can find them. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. I really wish I knew if that was in tune or not. I feel like reading up on kings, countries, or history right now. Hello. This is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. So if anyone else is listening, they can start off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> you are listening to this, then it means, well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I... Uh, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother, but there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it, it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help, but I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Goodbye, Grandpa. Damn, damn. The adapter's missing. Probably for the best. I wouldn't get anything done today if I started playing. Oh, okay. These can be pushed. Ah, shoot. That doesn't seem to be it. What did the message say again? No, that's not it. What did the message say again? No, that's not it. Ah, shoot. That doesn't seem to be it. What did the message say again? Yeah! <laughs> I did it! This looks like... Is this a second part of my necklace?
Whoa. Serious whoa. lock on it. Drawer. That's a really nice, a pretty fancy looking compass. <sighs> it's going to take berries by Brian Froud. Enough of that. I uh, can't imagine these books are all it's a chessboard with the game already in progress. My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a... It won't budge. It's stuck. It won't budge. I probably need to select a clock hand somehow. It won't budge. stuck in place. Weren't these triangles in the journal pages? Okay, so I need to set these hands up. Was that it? Did I do it? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's happening? the first time I traveled by magic, pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner. 
so we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure. The one that never was. But that is a longer story. For another time.